right, so I've prepped my eyelids using eyeshadow primer and a neutral color all over the lid. And then I'm going in with my sharp angled brush and a liquid lipstick and creating a line on the outer corner of my eye, similar to how I would for a winged liner. And I make sure to do that on both eyes just to keep the symmetry sort of alike. Then I'm going in with a flat rounded brush and creating the tops of my hearts. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'll fill it in. I'm using a red matte liquid lipstick because the color payoff is great and once it sets, it's gonna stay there all night. For the bottom half of my heart, I'm gonna start again by drawing a line down the center of my eye and I'll do it on the other side as well, again, just to keep the symmetry. Once I'm happy with those lines, I'm gonna use them as a guide to build the bottom half of the triangle. Keeping in mind that my outer edges on the bottom of the heart should match up with the outer edges on the top of the heart. From there, I'll fill it in and clean up the edges using my sharp angle brush again and sort of dragging that lower corner down my cheeks a little bit. So once the heart shape is finished, I'm gonna go in with loose glitter. The liquid lipstick is still tacky here, but if yours has already dried and set, you can always go in with a glitter base on top. All right, for my eyeliner, I'm going in with a black gel liner. You can also use liquid here. I'm making sure to keep my wing um, kept within my heart. I'm using the sort of outer edge as a guideline and then working from there. On the waterline, I'm going in with a waterproof white pencil. And um, here you can clearly see that I don't usually have long nails. To define the lower lash line, I'm just going back in with the angle brush and my gel liner. Next step is to pop on the biggest lashes that you have. For my lower lash line, I just took a strip lash and I cut it into four pieces. And then I just glued them on, separated a little bit to give me sort of a doll-like look. And then just to blend everything, I'm going in with a coat of mascara, top and bottom lashes. For the cute little nose, I'm packing on hot pink eyeshadow on the tip of my nose. And I build it up until it's really opaque, and then I just blend out the edges. I'm using the same color on my cheekbone, and I'm really focusing the color on the apples of my cheeks, and then slightly dragging it upwards on my cheekbone. For my highlight, I'm going in with Champagne Pop, and I'm going to hit my cheekbones, my cupid's bow. I'm also going to hit my chin and my forehead and even the bridge of my nose. On the tip of the nose, I'm really making sure to pack on that highlighter because I really want to have that Rudolph, Rudolph. look. For my lips, I'm going in with an extremely sharpened black eyeliner pencil and I'm just lining my lips and then I'm gonna exaggerate the corners of my lips a little bit outwards to give me that sort of clown effect. Once I'm done lining my lips I'm gonna go back in with the same red I used on my eyes and just pop it all over and sort of blend it in with the lip line to get a sort of ombre effect. On top of that, I'm using a sort of glittery lip gloss. Now this step could have been done at the same time as the hearts, I just forgot. I'm gonna create triangles on top of my eyebrows. So first I just go in making sure the lines are even on both sides and then I just build the triangles. And then of course, while it's still tacky, I go in with my loose glitter. And that's the look. I popped in some red contacts and a cute little clown ruffle and then I was all set. Hope you like it.